Hey guys, it's David from MD Bootstrap, and in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to build this portfolio web page, which you can use uh, to promote. Mm, well, many different kind of companies like creative agency or software house and so on. And we're going to build this website with um, Bootstrap 5 only and uh, a pinch of CSS. And as you can see, the page is obviously fully responsive. Uh, so uh, regardless of whether you are watching this on browsing this on mobile device, tablet, regardless of orientation you use, so we can change the orientation and so on. It's like fully responsive. We have this interactive nav bar, which is changing, um, which is which is collapsing on the mobile device. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have a f um, starting folder here. And what we have um, inside is CSS and JS, where we can find a bootstrap files. So if you want to start building your website uh, using Bootstrap, then you should visit Bootstrap 5 website, hit the download button, and then you will start downloading mm, CSS and JS files over here. I did it already and I have them unzipped over here. See, th these are my CSS and JS files. Other than that, I have a couple of images over here. So I have some photo from Unsplash. Uh, which I really recommend you to use so you can uh, get this, those photos for free uh, and you can use them both for um, personal as well as commercial uh, use. So this is Unsplash and just find picture you like and, and, and download it. And obviously it will be really nice if you can leave some credits to the authors. And then uh, what I'm also going to use, I, I use this many pixels dot co uh, so here you have also these pictures which you can use for free and this is what's gonna what i'm gonna be using in this um in this tutorial and yeah i have a couple of logos which we're gonna use uh, from the companies so you can basically get them from the company's website okay so let's get started uh, we're gonna start with creating a new file from scratch so index.html i'm gonna type explanation mark and then press tab emmet will basically replace it with um, the starting html so let's call it portfolio portfolio let me increase um, font size for you so you can see it better what we are doing and let's open this one in uh, using live server so it opened up here obviously it's empty now so Let's start with our uh, with our navbar. So let's let me see. So yeah, so we're gonna start with this navbar, and in order to do that, we're gonna go to uh, to a Bootstrap Docs page. So let's go. Let's visit Bootstrap page. Go to Content, or actually Components, and then navbar, and let's use. Uh, let's find some love where this one ha have search we don't want uh, we don't want use search so let's let's use this one so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna copy this one and obviously before we are gonna use bootstrap styles bootstrap mm, js we need to import it to our file first so let's do it now link css bootstrap mean css let's do one more thing let's create an in styles CSS file. So this is going to be the file where we're going to have our custom file. Um, and let's link it also. So we have CSS styles. Okay, so now we have bootstrap. So let's add our navbar to our page. And here it is. We have our navbar, navbar here. Now, one important thing to mention here is that it doesn't work yet. Now let me get rid of this one. And this is because we didn't, and this is because uh, it doesn't work yet because um, we didn't uh, import JS, bootstrap JS. So let's do it now. Script source JS bootstrap 
admin js and now it's working fine let's get rid of this disabled for now uh, yep okay here it is okay now what we want to do we want to add some margins from left and right and we want to pull these links to the right we also want to replace this navbar with uh, our logo so let's do it now in order to uh, add margins we're going to change container uh, fluid to container so i'm going to leave it uh, i'm going to remove fluid and if you don't know how this works um, please check our other video um in description down below or somewhere here you should see the link for a bootstrap 5 tutorial where you're going to use um where you're going to find information how to use bootstrap grid how to use containers and so on for now just remember that removing fluid will basically add us this margins from left and right okay great now let's get rid of this one and instead we, we instead we're going to use image um, and we want to use source no i actually want to use image logo and we're gonna have our logo here and now what we want to do what we want to do now we want to pull we want to pull it to to the right side okay so uh, in order to do that we're gonna use uh, we're going to add a new class here and it's called justify content and and that should bring our links to the right yeah that's that's how it works now now the last thing which we want to do with our navbar is to make it sticky so it stays at the top of our page when we scroll down um, our portfolio so let's do it now and we're gonna do it just by adding the single class called um, fixed top and now well it's going to be difficult to test it now because we don't have content so we'll get back to this one as soon as we will have more content here so now let's move on to this part so we're going to have this header over here which will have mm, this wave over here and a little bit of a gradient from blue to purple uh, on the bottom so let's do it now So header so we're gonna add two classes here and now let's um, let's add these classes um, so for gradient we're gonna use uh, gradient generator so if you go to cssgradient.io you're gonna find this this gradient generator which allows you to choose like uh, different colors here right you can change it totally uh, you can change this color and you can get different results so just play with it uh, i'm gonna use this one and it will generate a css for us so I'm just going to copy paste this one here. Okay. So this is first one. Um, now let's add some generic styles here as well. HTML body. So we want to have this height to 100%. Font size to one RAM for now. Okay now let's see what we want to do now okay we want to add some heading paragraph buttons and some image on the right and we're gonna use uh, bootstrap grid to place this content next to each other so let's do it so we're gonna start with container row and we're gonna 
use call md6 two times and it's gonna be our text and it's gonna be our image so let's use image let's see how it looks now okay it's here now let's add some text here Oops. Let me copy paste some text which is prepared here. Okay, we need to add some margins uh, here. So let's do it like this. Now we forgot to add class here, so now we have gradient and now for the page header let's uh, let's add margin top for um, let's say okay yeah now it's better let's do a few more changes so what we're gonna do we're gonna change increase size and change it color to white yep and you know what let's change the font so i'm gonna use google fonts um so if you navigate to google fonts fonts.google.com you're gonna find different fonts i'm gonna use um, let's say this uh, you can use different style over here so i'm gonna find this is too thin i guess let's use 300 select this style embed and here you here you have a code so we're gonna link it in our index.html and we need to use this font family in our css style and let's see how it works now how it looks actually yeah our font has changed now okay now we need to do small adjustments over here so um, we want to justify this uh, this content uh, vertically uh, so in order to do that we need to add one class to our code so in our row where is row we're gonna add justify content center and we also want to add some paddings and we also want to align items center okay so this will and this will this will align items and this align item center is uh, centering this vertically and this justify content center will basically center it and this is because i kind of have a feeling that this six rows is a little bit too big so i'm gonna change it to five to make it smaller right and now it's still centered and without this it will be aligned to the left side so that's why we need this class over here and now we have it here okay now let's add um what we are missing are two buttons so then again let's navigate to a bootstrap uh, bootstrap page bootstrap docs and find some buttons I'm gonna use this outline buttons here 
So let's use this uh, green one and an uh, orange one. So success. And let's make them bigger. By adding this BTN large class. Okay, now it's ready. So the last thing we have to do is to add this wave over here. In order to do that, we're going to use another generator uh, which generates uh, waves for us so if you go here you can randomly generate some waves for you uh, let's use this one so I'm gonna copy SVG code and I'm going to paste it at the end of our header, which will create wave like this. So now we have to change this background color to the color of our background, actually. So in order to do that, we're going to change this one to FFF. And this will give us this nice result over here. Okay, now let's see what else we have here. Let me combine this one. So now we have this logos here. So let's add new section. We're going to call it companies. And we're going to use container. Row. And inside that, we're going to have six logos. So I'm going to do like call MD2 multiplied by six times. And let's add these images, which I have here. Mm, image companies one PNG, alt company logo. I'm going to add class image fluid. And now let's update numbers. Okay, we have it here, right? So one thing we have to also take care of is the sizing over here, uh, actually spacing. Uh, so they are too close to each other and they are not centered. So we're gonna fix it by uh, adding classes to our row. So I'm going to say G5, let's say, for gutters and text center to our row. And let's see how it works now. Yeah, and now we have this nice spacing all over here. Okay, great. So let's see what now. Now we have this section. This wavy section which have wave from both from bottom and from top so let's do it now i'm gonna call this section feature so let's add section okay we want also this section to use a gradient and we want it to to have container row inside it and to call MD6 multiplied by two. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some heading. Introducing MDB and I'm gonna copy paste some paragraph which we're gonna also use. 
let's see. Okay, and we have some list item over there. So, or actually, this is on the right side. So, so uh, this one going to be first, and this is our image. Let's add image here. Okay, we have image and now this text. So let's add another list and we're going to have four list items like built with latest technology, super responsive and creative design. Now let's add some styles. So we want this color to be white. Okay, here it is. Now let's, um, uh, let's add some spacing. So this one should be M13. Okay. Now let's align. everything to the center and now let's take care of this uh, this list so we want what we want to do we want to replace this uh, this bullet points with these icons and i have this icon downloaded uh, it's uh, in the svg format uh, by the way you can you can find all the files uh, for this lesson in the description down below so you can download it uh, you can download the starting pack and then you can start building along with me which is the best way to learn how to do it uh, by yourself so let's uh, write a piece of css which will basically uh, change this uh, list items for us so we're gonna start with um adding some padding and list style type to none so this will remove styles and now we're gonna add custom ones so feature will oi padding left so the same value background image set to image and check svgs so let's see how it looks now okay now we don't want our background to repeat okay that's cool now let's increase a little bit our line height and add some spacing okay now it is so now let's generate some wave let's use this one now let's add it to our section at the bottom yeah okay now we have it on the bottom and let's do the same on the top uh, to use the top one we're gonna click this icon over here which will generate the same but for mm, for the top wave so let's copy this one, go to the top, let's paste it. And now let's change this color to white. And we have our line from the top and the bottom ready so let's see what 
section we have now okay so this is the one with the icons so let's work on that now i'm gonna add a new section and add some container then a row okay and we want call md4 three times and we're gonna use icons um, from bootstrap so if you navigate to bootstrap icons docs you're gonna find the list of different icons over here and find whatever you like and just pick up one and then you can have this svg code over here i already prepared mm, them before so let me just uh, let me just copy paste them so what we're gonna do uh, i'm gonna add here some div with the icon class as well as gradient and margin bottom and i'm gonna paste copy paste this pre-defined icons with heading and description so there's nothing fancy fancy over here so this is the icon which currently looks like that one we're gonna fix we're gonna make it round and some heading and paragraph so let me just copy paste remaining two okay so now let's work on our icons so icon now what we want to do we want to change its color to white okay now let's change size to 5 rem as well as width yep now let's change a border radius okay and now we want to center it so okay and now we need to justify uh, this content inside our div and we're gonna use that uh, by adding text center to our row which will center everything okay that's great let's see what uh, what's next so this is the gallery part as you can see i've used a different color here just for some change so let's do it so we're gonna add a new section called gallery now all right section gallery and then again as always what we're gonna do we're gonna use container and row inside it then we're gonna use column d 10 for heading okay then let's add some paragraph here mm, 
Okay, here it is. So uh, let's add some styles now. I'm going to use background color white smoke. Okay. So here we have this one. I'm going to add waves in a few seconds like this. But for now, let's just add images. So I'm going to add another row here. And what we need here are three images. So three call MD4 multiplied by three. And we want to add image, image C1 gallery image and add some class to make our image responsive okay now let's adjust numbers great and let's change border radius so to all images inside our section gallery section to five percent great now i think there was some button over here as well yeah there was this button so let's do it now so let me do it this way row We're going to use two column. Okay. Now we need to move it to the right and let's add some spacing as well. So starting from row, we're going to add margin three and gutter three so our images will get this nice spacing here between uh, between the images right before it wasn't there so that's why we need it and now for this one we're gonna add some margin from the top and justify content end which will bring our button to the right side okay now let uh, quickly add uh, waves from the bottom and the top so you, you already know this one Okay, so now we have this waves here, but uh, the spacing here is a little bit too uh, too big. So in order to do that, we're gonna change this SVG, which is currently taking that much space. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here we have size, so we have zero, zero at starting point, and we, here we have width and height. So I'm gonna change this 330 to 220, and this will decrease the size here, right? Let me show you that. So if we change to 320, and 
and 120 so you can see that this size is changing so we can leave it at something like 160 probably okay now let's move to the next section oh which by the way will be the quite interesting section so this is the one i call it services so we're gonna use like this columns and we're gonna change uh, this picture to be on the right and the left and the right again so let's do it We want this to have gradient as well. And let's add container and then row. And inside this row, we want to have uh, six, uh, six rows, six columns. Call MD um, five, six. Uh, let's start with six and see how it works. Okay, so we have six of them, so we will have text here, picture here, so let's add it already. So first one is coding, now we have image marketing then some text and then we will have again text and image and this one the last one is called revenue okay let's have a look Right, so we have text, picture, picture, text, text, picture. So now let me quickly fill uh, missing, uh, missing texts. Okay, so as you can see, I've added this uh, headings, paragraph and buttons. So what we need to do, we need to add some styles to it, uh, or actually style just for font color. And now we need to work a little bit on uh, paddings and alignments so let's add to our row these two classes which will do align items center great and i think this six a little bit too much i want to make it a little bit more compact so instead of six columns i want this to be five columns so it will be a little bit wider so let's me change this one actually we can do it like this select 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 and change it to md5 so now we have it smaller but now it's aligned to the left so we can fix it like we did before by using justify content center which will bring it back to the to uh, to the center and then again let me quickly add this missing waves on the top and the bottom Okay, 
this section is ready so let's move to the next one which will be almost the last one which is the contact uh, contact form so let's uh, let's do it we're gonna use again uh, bootstrap docs for this one so i'm gonna look uh, i'm gonna search for uh, some form uh, which we can use uh, but first let's create this section placeholder Okay, and now let's go to the docs and go to forms overview. What do we have here? Email, password, nope. Let's check form controls. Yeah, this is the one we are looking for. So we're gonna have the email and text. So let's just copy this one and paste it over down below here. Okay, now let's add some button. This one, for example, at the bottom. Okay, let's put it outside div. Okay, and what we are missing is this picture on the right. So let's also do it here. So let's add five and let's use image and shake. Yeah, and as you can see, since these are five, so they are not centered. And we could do it like we did before, like we did here, but I'm going to leave it as it is because I like it because it's kind of aligned with these two waves over here. So I kind of like this effect. And finally, let's add a last section, which is footer. And we want this to also have gradient. Um, so I'm going to use container. This time I want to use container fluid and text center oops i forgot the dot okay and i'm just gonna use some span and say mate with love by in the bootstrap dot com okay here it is uh well, but we are missing a couple of styles so let's add them footer color white font size ram margin zero Okay, we want it a little bit padding one RAM bigger and change link size and get rid of this nasty Internet Explorer reach underline. Yeah, okay guys, so our page is ready. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this useful. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to um, to ask them. You can find us on the Facebook group. Uh, you're gonna find all the, all the links in the description down below. So please check it. Uh, you're gonna find a link to this files over there. You're gonna find a link to the starter, so you can start. You can. Um, 
follow this lesson and code with me. And this is the first part of the tutorial, actually, because this is going to be our starting point to our second tutorial on PHP, where I'm going to teach you how to uh, change this website to split it into multiple pages and auto generate them using PHP. So if you don't know how to use it, if you want to learn PHP, if you want to learn backend, then this is going to be perfect, um, perfect option for you. So please check um, link for the tutorial in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss more videos like that. And don't forget to turn on notification. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. This will help us to reach more audience. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next second part of this tutorial.